Hey guys, so I'm here to film my November wrap up and I am sorry for my lighting. I have to use the light on the back of my phone so I can film this. So the first book I have to show you, which I have read this month, these are in no particular order, which is The Right Rose by June Amy Ewig. And this is the sequel to The Jewel. And these books you've already seen because they have been in past library halls. Then I have The Magnus Trace and The Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. And this is book one in the Magnus Trace and the Gods of Oscar series. Oh, and this one I have to open it and I gave. The right white rose I gave a 4 out of 5 stars and some Sword of Summer I gave 5 out of 5 stars. Then I have read Daughter of Smoking Born by Wayne Taylor and I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars as well. Then I have read Carry On by Rainbow and Rowell. And I gave that a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So then I read George by Alex Gina. And I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. I then read Night Owls by Jen Bennett. And I gave that 4 out of 5 stars. I have then read... NLS 4R2 by Joe Hill and I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars. Then I read The Magistrate in the Cup of Gauntlet by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare and I gave that 4 out of 5 stars. I read I read Beautiful Bastards by Beautiful Bastard by Christina Lauren. And I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars also. And Trial by Fire by Josephine Angeli. And I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars. And I have also nearly finished, so I'll just include it in this part. Well, I'm currently reading, which I will finish by the end of the month, Take a Chance by Abby Glines. And so far this is a 4.5 out of 5 stars. But I will update you in the second part of this video if there is another part. So bye guys. And I am back again with more books for my more than my pop up. Um so yeah you'll see because it's only put in that video. So also this month I have read One More Chance by Abby Glines and in my Put where I've put it in the uh, wrap up. I currently read. I had briefly said I was reading. I was nearly done with Take a Chance, so I may as well stick it in here with my rating. And again, I give this one a four out of five, as with One More Chance, which is the sequel to In the Take a Chance portion of this Rosemary Beach series. This follows Harlow and Grant and their story. The first four books take part follow Blair and Rush. Then the second book follows the fifth and sixth book follows Dyla Delilah and Woods and these two follow Ethan and Grant and then So then nine and ten follow Trip and Bethy. So they will so I will have a YA at new adult recommendations on this series. Well the whole Rosemary Beach series will probably go in. So I have read both of these as well this month and there were four out of five. Then I have read 
Friends of the Impossible Life by Kate Skelska and I gave this book a three out of five. I really I don't like pain on it. I do want to read some more LG, L, LGBTQ books. This was my first one and it wasn't that good. So if anyone has any recommendations, put down in the down below please. Then also I have I have read Maybe Steve at The Raven Boys and this book was a five out of five stars. I really enjoyed that. And then I have read Speak by Ella Laura Hills Anderson and this was a four point five out of five stars. So these are the last one to the next one, two, three, four, five books. From my library hall, I have got two more to read. So I will probably have, I'm about to start The Dead House. So this may get read, which I don't think it will. So you'll probably see it in my December, t December TBR. So, yeah. I think this is going to be the end of my wrap up. So bye guys and I will see you in my next video.